the way people are culturalised in relationships before you get along or come along is going to be where they default to. People default back to the minimum effort, whether it causes, tr causes trouble or not, undermines them or not, that's what people default to. They default back to what they've got away with. And that can be assorted. That can be lots of different uh, malfunctions and dysfunctions and weaknesses and stuff that you won't see on the surface at the start. Because they'll, they won't do it. They'll present themselves as more than what they are. Now I've had partners that have been addicts and medicated and whatnot, and com <coughs> <coughs> and criticised the previous partner for their habits and they've had the same habits themselves. And I've just gone, oh my God. So, There's elements of delusion that people live in. Self-unawareness, self-ignorance, um, and attributes, failing attributes that aren't going to change, that these people live in. And they, they are convinced that they're going to get through life successfully holding on to these. They've lost things over them. Um, they've, they've been in trouble over them. They have become unhealthy because of them. And they just carry on. You don't have to. When these people start to reveal what they are and who they are, and I know this because I used to run, run big, big brick lane gangs, and I saw it all. I saw it all. You cannot rescue dysfunctional people because most of them don't even know that they are dysfunctional in the first place. And if you try and tell them to fix some things, they will. And inevitably, every time they fell back, back into to that behavior. As a business owner and with time not to spare at the expense of people's dysfunction I had to make some very hard decisions but they were decisions based on performance or lack thereof The good performers were looked after and the bad performers were told to go. Simple as that. That's how it worked. And that's how it should work. And that's how your, your relationship should work. I know women that have put up with men that I wouldn't give five minutes to to be honest but they've put up with them 
and they've tolerated them. Um, and I'm not sure why, but they have. And they've lived with the consequences for the rest of their lives. That's how it works. You get caught with a minimalist and you will pay for it for the rest of your life. That's just how it is. That's how it works. You can't change it. And you're not, to, you, you, you know, you, you think you're a rescuer. You think you're going to change these people and help them and fix them and that you're not. You got enough going on with yourself without worrying about the responsibilities of people who are supposed to be adults. But this happens every day. You get the rescuers of the week. Oh yeah, they run around thinking they're going to rescue people from all their troubles and. They're going to change. They're not going to change. What you're seeing is the real person. And that person is not going to change to suit you or, or anybody else for that matter. So we delude ourselves. We delude ourselves into believing that we're the Messiah. Right for people that are dysfunctional and we shouldn't do it. Let them, let them sort themselves out. It's not your job, it's not your responsibility to do that. But we take it on ourselves and think that we can, but we can't. Because it's not our job, it's not our responsibility. Okay? The first thing you need to do when you meet someone is don't be blind to their initial performance and they can carry this performance easily for three to six, nine, twelve months before they start to knock you, all right, before they start to deteriorate. Be aware that this is a possibility. Try and, number two, Deal with the issues as you go, so that person's aware of the fact that you're not going to tolerate any nonsense. 